Yeah, I'd like to get some flowers for my wife's birthday. Uh, what can I get for three ninety-five? <laughs> well, how much for some seeds? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh. oh, hi, Peg. How you doing? I feel so empty. I shopped and I shopped and I still couldn't get happy. And look at all this junk. I don't even want half of it. <laughs> and as if I wasn't depressed enough, something horrible happened while I was out shopping. You accidentally bought something for me? <laughs> no. Worse than that, they discontinued my bra. I told you not to wear it out in public. No, you damn shoe salesman. They stopped making it. My fancy figure 327 is a thing of the past. Oh, Al. What's gonna become of my breasts? I love how my bosom looks in the fancy figure 327. It lifts. It cradles. Al, that is the only style bra I have ever worn. Come on, Peg. The guys will look good at anything. You <laughs> mean that, Al? You'll still love your little squeezies. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure, Peg, but uh, promise to keep them locked up till the sun goes down. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to do something about it sooner or later. So I bought 15 different bras. And this is the only one that comes close. The Maxi Force 911 EZ Loader. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm thinking on my birthday, do I run to you with my underwear looking for help? <laughs> well, maybe you should. Then I could tell you that the bigger hole goes in front. <laughs> you know, Peg, I sense you're in a mood here. You know, it's just a stinking bra. Who cares? Let me explain it to you so you'll understand. You know how you like to stick your finger in your ear? <laughs> well, just suppose that one day that ear closed up and the finger didn't fit anymore. I'd use your fingers like I do when you're sleeping. <laughs> Doesn't anyone understand? Peggy, I just heard about your bra. I'm so sorry. <laughs> do you have a backup? No. <laughs> Peggy, you have got to plan ahead. Now, I have a backup, and I break it in gradually so it's not such a shock. And I'm always out scouting. The pretty petite 204 looks promising. But that's more of a power bra. What you need is a nice, all-purpose utility bra. But with more women joining the workforce, those are hard to find. Oh, tell me about it. I don't know why we even need bras. Well, I think it's to keep your breast off the plate when you eat. <laughs> We could have a luau. No, he's got to go to work tomorrow and earn that big money. <laughs> you know who we have to blame for this whole bra problem? Me? No, men. <laughs> they design and manufacture bras, not for the bosoms that we have, but for the bosoms that they want. Do you know what happened if men had breasts? We wouldn't need women anymore. <laughs> And if you had what other men have, I wouldn't need batteries anymore. That's what happened to my diehard. Come on, Peggy, let's go upstairs and see if we can piece some of your old bras together. That should tide you over until you can break in a replacement. Oh, Marcy, what am I gonna do? That bra was the only thing in this house that felt good when it held me. 